everyone, Freedy here, here and welcome to today's episode of Under the Cover. Where we'll be looking into RNG based perk rolls, combinations, and seeing how they affect the weapon as a whole and your playstyle, from good perk rolls to bad perk rolls, and then give you a raw verdict. Today's weapon we'll be looking into is the new and very much welcoming slug shotgun called the Blasphemer, a one of a kind kinetic slug shotgun that can be gotten from the new dungeon or the moon public event. This role we'll be reviewing is the curated variant version, which I must say has some very tasty perk commendations. In fact, I believe that if you manage to get this role, you will literally have a god roll on your hands. Impact 70, range 62, stability 46, handling 49, reload 49, aim assist 61, recoil direction of 60 and magazine of 6. The curated comes with hammer force rifling, accurized rounds, high caliber rounds, quick draw, opening shot and a range masterwork. Having perks such as quick draw for faster ADS and speed and opening shot for range extension on your first shot is always a welcoming perk to have for slugs as you want to aim for the head and then move as quickly as possible and not linger for too long while aiming as the chances of you following up with a second shot gets drastically reduced. With the added on range perks we can land a critical headshot at around 11 meters and the more we add on the more range we can get out of it. However, doing so will cause diminishing returns, which means if I had a good bone structure for example, with a range of 90, it doesn't mean I will be hitting at above 12 meters. I will only be hitting at 11 to 11 and a half meters, and all of this is because of A, diminishing returns, which Bungie have gone in to explain meanings as to why this is put into shotguns, and B, because of legendary shotguns are capped which makes sense as weapons such as Chaffaroon with his Roadborne perk would be made redundant if legendaries can just easily beat out of it. Comparing this to other slug shotgun ranges such as Gnor's Axe is the only one out of the three with the higher base range than the other two, who have much lower ranges to start off with. Now this allows Gnor's Axe to freely choose something else instead of more range as it's already hit this cap, but the other two will need a bit more range added onto them via masterwork or perk just then you get that little bit of range to finish off other players from further distances. Now as the curated role is what I would say is a god role for any slug shotgun to apply to, there are a few perks we could look into, into swapping or grinding out for something else instead. Accurized Round for example gives us a plus 10 in range, which is a nice quality to see added but we also have mass work range as well, which provides a plus 10, which then puts his range from 62 to 82. Now this is all fine and dandy. But remember what I said about pushing range too far with diminishing returns. You're not winning more fights with more range added on with these two, but rather losing more in a sense, if that kind of makes sense for you. So in this case here, let's say if we sacrifice a Aquarius Rounds for Assault Mag instead, we will still have enough range to hit at the right point, but also have an increased RPM bump to allow us to follow up shots much more easier. Truthfully, I think that's probably a much more better perk to go with rather than accurate rounds in this case. Now, if you want to keep the two range perk instead, but you simply want to switch your last perk, then look towards Swashbuckler, which can allow your slugs to go from two shots to the body to one shot to the body. This is more of a PvP most wanted perk for those that want to play up close and personal, but also want a bit of range when melee won't be enough. To be honest, these are the only two M perks you really want to have. Rampage can also be added in, but opening shot and swashbuckler are more sought after than the rest. And PvE wise, it's, well, it's not really recommended to use slugs in PvE, simply because aggressive, lightweight, fast firing frame, any shotgun frame except from the precision or the slug frames will automatically have a better damage overall. And I mean, seriously, don't use them for PvE with perks such as swashbuckler and one-two punch available, since even if you do add them on and use it for PvE purposes, why would you use a slug frame for that when aggressive frames for example, which can roll a 1-2 punch or swashbuckler, has a much higher DPS for the overall run for you? Now unless you want to go ahead and just play around with it, then there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get more bang for your buck in PvE content, especially for higher end game content, you're better off sticking with something like aggressive frames or lightweight frames instead. Now, should you keep the curated role or shard it? I wholeheartedly recommend you keep it only, I mean only for PvP focuses and only if you want a kinetic legendary slug shotgun for your main primary slot. 
this weapon here is incredibly well if you know how to use slug shotguns as a whole and the fact that it's, the role is curated for PvP exactly is definitely something worth keeping and at least trying out. Even if you've never used slugs before, this is probably one of the best ways to go ahead and try out a god role without trying to farm for a Gnaw's Axe roll or a good bone structure roll or whatever. Except from that, there's nothing more to weapon that makes it anything else more remotely good. It's a simple and average slug shotgun that I recommend you guys get because of being the only legendary connect slugging game. It's a curated role, it's perfect for PvP. And his aim assist stat is a lot more higher than Gnaw's Axe with 34 and good bone structure with 35, making it very sticky for shots and making it incredibly well for this area as well. There's nothing game changing about the weapon compared to the other slugs, but if you're looking for a slug for your connect slot and you want to use an energy pulse or a hand cannon, then here's your chance to find one. And trust me, the event for actually getting this is definitely worth playing. So that comes to the end of the weapons perk review for this week's content. I have plenty more weapons to show off with unique perk signalizations that you should try and give a go, but I will show that in another time like always. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like, a sub and share the videos with others who are also interested in this type of stuff. Also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff. The link is down below. Once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Like a titan of the first pillar. You're in first place. Five minutes remaining.
enemy down. minutes left. You're in the lead. the lead. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> You're in first place. You've taken everything. First place goes to you. <laughs> 